All right, so a couple of days ago, I put out a video on how to efficiently grind red border weapons so that you can craft all the opulent weapons this season. A couple of people in the comments section, though, kept talking about taking multiple hours to level up their weapons or about how it wasn't worth the grind that they needed to actually get the weapon with usable perks. So I've gone out of my way to show you guys the most efficient way to level these up, and these three opulent weapons can le be leveled up so much faster than most other ones just because of a couple of simple perk combinations that I'm going to show you in just a second. Now, Drang and Callus are pretty much the same thing, so I'm not going to go in depth about Drang, but for Drang, I would say run Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves and Surprise Attack while you're using it because that's just going to make it do much more damage. You can melt stuff quicker, including the Knights, which would be hard to do without them. Now, for Callus, if you're just going to want Solar Siphon on your helmet, which you can just put on any Solar class item, same for Drang. Um, it'll help you create orbs of light, so you'll be able to get your super much faster, and you won't have to waste rally banners or anything either because of how fast you're going to be getting your super back thanks to the orbs, um, since it's a primary ammo weapon. For Beloved, you're going to go through a couple of banners for sure, but for Kallus and Drang, it's not very difficult. You get surrounded off the rip with it, which is very nice, and then as you level it up, you can get something like Threat Detector. I believe you also start out with Slideways, which is nice for reloading, but Surrounded is definitely what you want, along with Surrounded Spec, and once you level it up to level uh, 11 or 12, you get Incandescent, which you definitely do want on this as well. For Beloved, once you get it to level 4, you're going to want to get Armor Piercing Rounds on it. This makes it so that you can get Colats really easily on the Thrall and it'll save you ammo and time. Compulsive Reloader is really nice just because it's something you get access to right at the start, and it's just something that improves your reload speed. Incandescent, you unfortunately have to get to level 9 or level 11 to get, and it's the best and most helpful perk that you can get on any of the opulent weapons. And then take and spec. For Beloved, you're going to want to run Sniper Rifle Ammo Finder on your helmet, Sniper Rifle Loader on your gauntlets, Unflinching Sniper Aim on your chest piece, and Sniper Rifle Scavenger on your boots. Now, the strategy that I've used to get at least 80 kills is go in, tether the stairs right around the middle or the top and then wipe out the first wave of Thrall as fast as possible. Once that first wave is dead, the second wave should spawn in. Immediately hunt down and kill a Taken Knight as soon as the second wave spawns in. Then kill all the Thrall as they should be getting tethered. Once all the Thrall are dead, the third wave is going to spawn. Once the third wave spawns in, I would say immediately take out either a Knight or the Eye of Riven. Now, this is where I've had some inconsistencies. However, it's not between 60 and 80, it's between 80 and 100 kills, and sometimes killing the Eye of Riven first will make it so that I get an extra wave of Thrall to spawn. I don't really know why, I've tried replicating it and testing it, but it doesn't work. However, it's guaranteed 80 kills every time if you kill the Knight first in the third wave, and then kill all the Thrall, then damage another Knight. The second that you start damaging another Knight, it will end up spawning the fourth wave of Thrall, and then you just take out the Eye of Riven before that fourth wave fully spawns in because it has a solar shield, and breaking that solar shield with a solar weapon like Beloved, Callus, or Drang is going to end up killing some of the Thrall, and that will not count towards your weapon because it's going to be the shield damage that kills them. Incandescent does count towards your weapon, so does the Tether, so don't worry about either of those, but you do just want to be very careful with that. Now, I was getting 80 every single time, and I know with Shirochi, some people's problems have been that they can't get consistent numbers, that they'll get between 60, 70, and 80 kills, but this method gets you at least 80 every single time. And I made sure to include this specific clip because with Incandescent, Armor Piercing, and Compulsive Reloader, and Taken Spec on my Beloved, I got 80 kills with pretty much just my Beloved, and that's huge because that's 40% for a crafted level. So definitely something that I would recommend trying if you haven't done it already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a really simple video. It's just the fastest way to level up all your weapons. Getting them to level 16 shouldn't take very long at all. Um, Mida is probably the fastest that I've used, or I guess the Callus Mini Tool is probably the fastest one for this. Ostringer is a bit different because Ostringer can't get any AoE perks like Incandescent since it's kinetic, but you can still put on stuff like Frenzy to make it a bit easier for you. Anyway, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you guys later.